Come on in, have a seat. So, uh, what is it that brings you here today? You see, I, I was trying to become TikTok famous in a week, and I, I really put my heart and soul into everything, and I was just wondering what, what else would it take to, to become TikTok famous? Well, there is one thing. What, what is it? Is it my soul? I don't have one. I gave that away when I was born with this red hair. Do, do you want money? I mean, I only have twenty dollars, but like, I, I can give you an IOU. No, no, no. I don't. I don't want any of that. Rumor has it you have one Reese's peanut butter cup left. Well, yeah, but these are my favorite sweets, and I only have one left. You want to become TikTok famous, don't you? Fine. <laughs> Thanks, idiot. Now I'm your last Reese's peanut butter cup, and you're never gonna become TikTok famous. No, what do you? I trusted you. See you later, idiot. What's going on, Dust? What's going on, YouTube? It's Dustin, and I'm back with a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm excited to tell you that we completed the TikTok Famous in a Week challenge. Hello? What's up? I thought we hit 10,000. Oh, we forgot to carry how many zeros? Two? Well, I just got off the phone with my barista from down the street and she has informed me that we didn't actually hit the milestone. We were supposed to be going for 10,000 followers and we only hit 174 followers. I'm pretty sure I started this challenge, it was either 73 or 83. So we gained 100 followers in a week, which was pretty great. It didn't just come flowing in like I had expected. However, we did go up like 1,200, 1,300 likes, which I enjoyed. I was happy with that, and I felt like it was a good way to get the ball rolling in the TikTok realm. So in today's video, I, I just want to recap the challenge and talk a little bit about it, my thoughts, my experience. And first off, no, we didn't We didn't complete the challenge. Trying to get 10,000 in a week is a little bit harder than I expected, but thank you for everyone who followed me in that week and helped me progress along that challenge. A special shout out to Sarah, Sophie, and Lex. I wanna say a big thank you to you because I did notice that you reposted my trying to become TikTok famous videos on your stories or on Instagram, any of the above. That means the world to me and really helped me out. If there was anyone else who had done that and I missed, Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. But to you three, I did see it, and I just wanna say thank you. I wanted to overview some of the videos. My two favorite TikToks that I made over the course of this week actually were back to back, and the first one was the illiterate people door to door salesman. Hello? Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, why, uh, what brought you here today? What are you doing here, do you need something? Well, what does it say on my name tag? I don't know, sir, I'm illiterate. Okay, well, I'll read it out for you, okay? Thank you. All right, it says, is, is, that, a, is that an F or a Q? I, sir, I don't can't know. read your I own name. You illiterate. Are you illiterate too, sir? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, oh, speaking well, of illiterate, I'm, I'm here to spread awareness for, for oh. illiterate people. <gasps> I would love to hear about that. Absolutely. It says uh, right here on this, on this pamphlet. Ah. Uh, it says, ah. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you want me to? You want me to look at it to see if I can find uh, it? Out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you. That audio, I remember the first time I heard it, and I thought it was one of the funniest things ever when I was watching a Swagger Soul CSGO video. And then to see that on TikTok, I was like, I need to recreate it. It actually did really good. I think that was my best performing TikTok with about 150 likes to 1,200 views. It did really well, and I'm really happy that it paid off because that was my second favorite video to make. Next to my first favorite video to make that did a little bit less, I think 139 likes or something like that, which was uh, things that got do in the shower ball down fourth quarter shorty i'm a ball out don't go to work baby call out ain't no way no stall now i'm from the ball out fourth quarter shorty no call outs don't go to work baby just call out uh, in the bedroom all uh, out perks on the counter i can't wait for <laughs> My roommate and I made that video together. He was only in it for one part, but it was still so much fun. I'm, I'm gonna play a couple bloopers from it right here. I'm ready. Turn on the shower? Yeah. All right. <laughs> sure it's warm. Hey, no. <laughs> Good point. That. 
straight face. Oh <laughs> it's hot. Oh, my piano still works. Before I clean up here, I'm just going to show you guys the aftermath of this TikTok. There's literally Fruity Pebbles in my towel, so wish me luck. <laughs> just the fact that we are in the bathroom with the shower on while fully clothed, starting a band. I'm pretty sure my milk was about to expire as well. It was a mess. It was an absolute mess to try and clean up, but it was so funny. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed making that one, especially the ending. <laughs> Those were two of my best performing TikToks, and I also wanted to mention another one that blew up that I wasn't expecting to, uh, which was No No Square. No no, don't touch me there. This is my No No Square. No no, don't touch me there. No no, my. <laughs> What are you doing here, Molly? And in 45 minutes, this video got 3,000 views and like 75 likes. And I'm like, this is the one, it's going to the moon. And then all of a sudden it stopped. It peaked at like 3,500 views and 85 likes or some shit like that. And it's like, hold up TikTok algorithm. This just doesn't even make sense. What do you want from me? If this was a graph, it went and just plateaued. I was a little disappointed with that. I thought that was gonna be the one that blew up, which would have been really funny too, because that one literally took like five minutes to make and it just went to the moon where the other ones were, they took a lot of hard work. They're just like, eh. Overall, I didn't really have any videos that flopped, which I was pretty happy with. There was no videos that got like five likes compared to the other ones getting like anywhere between 40 to 140. So I think I was satisfied with my page's performance and all the interaction between you guys. Speaking of flopping though, I would say one video that I expected to do really well, but it didn't, was my going dark video. The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows, they send us in to find them. Watch the six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo six. Going dark. Oh God. <laughs> and it got like 40 likes, which isn't a small amount, but I thought that one was gonna blow up for sure. I was like, COD gamer community, they're gonna come rolling in and they're gonna eat this up. They're gonna love this. I said, nope, a little disappointed with that one. But overall, I wasn't upset with how any of them performed. Like, I think all of my TikToks did more than well enough for my standards. And uh, I could, I plan on continuing to make TikToks because I think they're so much fun, along with YouTube videos. And whether it's short, 20 second clips on TikTok or 10 minute videos on YouTube. I just love this stuff. The TikTok algorithm blows me away. I have two videos with the exact same sound. I have the leaf blower video. I have the hose video. The hose one got 55 likes with 1400 views. And the leaf blower one got 340 views and 59 likes. So more likes, but a fourth of the views. If these ratios are right, shouldn't this one blow up more? Like, shouldn't it go to the moon? I don't get it. Either way, I still had a ton of fun making all these videos and just giving this challenge a try. I was consistent. I made three videos every single day for seven days straight. I was consistent and I'm happy with that. So that that's honestly what this shows is consistency is key. Like if, if I keep up on like three videos a day or even like two, like th the account continues to grow and maybe I could learn and try and do something like that for my YouTube channel and learn what consistency is. Nah! <laughs> Unless. Keep an eye on my TikTok for the new videos that I'm going to be posting there. Turn on post notifications for my YouTube channel for when I'm uploading videos here. Leave a like. Subscribe. It's been your boy Dustin. I'll see you in the next one. Later.